Hello friends, I hope you are doing well. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to increase sharpness and contrast of an image in Darktable. My name is Mudassir Hussain and welcome to my channel Living Image. If you are new to this channel, please consider subscribing. I publish weekly tutorials on photography, editing and tech. Anyways, without further ado, let's get started. Right, we have got a raw image here. Actually, this is a stock picture I have collected from online. So today we are going to use this image to apply different modules to increase the sharpness of this picture. So as soon as you import an image in Darktable, you will see all the active modules here. And as you can see, a sharpen module has been applied already. So this is why it looks quite okay. But let's see how it looks without this module. Yeah, it is kind of blur, the eyes actually. So let's activate it. Yes, now it's, it's better. So the so first thing, it's very simple. If you want to increase the sharp sharpness of an image, you simply can find sharpen module. If it is activated automatically, that's fine. You can then just simply increase or decrease the value of radius and amount that will actually improve the uh, quality. I mean, you will able to increase the sharpness, or you can by decreasing you can make it a bit blur. So you can play with it according to your preference. And then, if you want to, like for an example, if I want to um, sharpen this particular eye even even more, just this part then I can use a mask to do that I can create a new instance and then I can go to drone and parametric mask from there I can select um, I can add ellipse and just can place it over the eyes So there it is. So here you can increase the value of radius and amount even further if you want to make it even sharper. But bear it in mind that overdoing anything brings opposite results. So, so let's have a look without the second sharpen module. We apply it and get it. Yes, the sh sharpness of the eye has been definitely increased so this is the easiest way to sharpen an image uh, in Darktable but there are other options you can apply to get an even better result so I'm going to show you step by step now I am actually deselecting that module so that would, it would be easier for us to understand each module will be applying uh, later on so first for an advanced editing, I try to adjust the shadow and highlights using tone curve so that it it balances the image. And when we apply the sharpen module, different sharpen modules, it brings overall a good result. So I am going to tone curve here. You can find all the modules here, or you can find all the modules under these menus. So, okay, here it is. If we look this image closely, yes, the focus is here. However, this part is dark. So let's say if you want to increase the sharpness of this part of the face and eye as well, this part relatively, you see, it's a bit darker. So if we adjust that a bit, that would actually help us to produce a better result. So to do that, we can pick this pointer and can place it over, let's say over here. And we want to increase the highlight of this area a bit. And then as you can see here is a, is a spike, we can decrease the 
value of this area a bit so that image looks better with balance shadow and highlights this is probably not the right image to show you the difference actually but I'm just showing you the technique so that you can follow uh, with the image as you edit so now we can apply different other modules other than sharpen module to improve the overall quality of the image as far as sharpness is concerned so now I am going to um, find contrast brightness and saturation module and then as you can see here we have contrast option here you can adjust it so by increasing the value of contrast it would bring more contrast in the image so let's check it now without this module you clearly can see the difference so this is another option I'm deactivating this module now and then we have another good option is that local contrast so this module basically for uh, exposing the detail of uh, an image again if you don't want to expose the detail of the entire image you can use mask so just to show you I'm just using this module so as soon as we use that module it, you can see the difference so by activating it we can see all the details of this image now we have different other options here too for an example if you don't want to expose the detail of the highlighted area then we can decrease the bellow at the same time if we want to expose the details of the shadow areas we can increase the value and similarly we can do the same for mid-tone area as well so now let's have a close look with and without local contrast module so friends this is another option to sharpen an image I'm deactivating it again so that you would be able to understand better when you apply other modules and then we have another option and that is contrast equalizer module go to that module and then we have different options here you can adjust them selectively luma chroma edges so go here in the parset uh, menu and from here you, you can play with all these settings there are different options we have so to sh sharpen the image we can use that clarity option as soon as we activate it you can see the clarity and then we can adjust it we can adjust the value of it to make it a bit lighter because it was otherwise looking quite strong with the contrast and everything you can play with all this um, until you get an expected result you also can go with other other options um, but before going to the other option let's check the result This is with contrast equalizer module and this is without a huge difference, right? Okay, so now I'm going to show you another option you can apply to sharpen. Like here you have denoise and sharpen. So if you see there, there, there are noises um, in the images, you can then choose denoise and sharpen option. We don't have much noise here in this image okay so now let's check the result of this option this is without this is with contrast equalizer module okay so now we apply another option sorry 
and that is just sharpen. Again, you can play with this. If you want to smooth it a bit, you always can decrease the value. Let's have a close look. So this is without, this is with, there's a huge difference. So this is probably one of the best options using contrast equalizer to get an instant result without going too much um, into the details. If you know which options brings what result, right. So friends, if you do want to go with the other settings, other options, other modules, the simplest way of improving the quality of the image or improving the sharpness of an image is to use sharpen module and as i've mentioned before you can sharpen selectively at the same time you can sharpen the entire image however depending on the raw image quality sometimes just using sharpen module probably would not bring the expected result so by overusing sharpen module you probably end up finding some sort of unnatural look in the image i would say personally so this is why it's probably good to check with the other options as well because every image has different condition and you need to apply the right right technique to improve the quality and sharpen the image so friends i hope this tutorial will help you to sharpen an image in Darktable. if you find this tutorial useful please consider to subscribe like and share thanks for watching we'll see you next time goodbye